Do you know who I am? I am the largest organ in your body. I am an active participant in almost every physiological process of the human body. You can't feel me, but I play a central role in all body functions. I filter over a liter of blood every minute. I am the human liver. I am within all of you and I understand you perfectly. But do you know me? Come, let's get to know each other better. I am the largest glandular organ of the body and weigh about 3 pounds. I am reddish brown in color and divided into four lobes of unequal size and shape. I am located on the right side of the abdominal cavity beneath the diaphragm. Blood is carried to the liver via two large vessels called the hepatic artery and the portal vein. The hepatic artery carries oxygen-rich blood from the aorta, a major vessel in the heart. The portal vein carries nutrient-rich blood from the stomach, intestines, pancreas and spleen. What do I do for you? I perform various functions for you. I remove harmful chemicals from your blood. I fight infection. I help to digest food by producing enzyme bile that break down fats, convert glucose to glycogen, produce urea, the main substance of urine. I store nutrients, minerals and vitamins A, D, K and B12. I store energy. I make certain amino acids, the building blocks of proteins. I maintain the blood glucose levels. I perform several roles in lipid metabolism, including cholesterol synthesis. What makes me sad? Some habits or external factors make me ill and prevent me from doing my job for you. What are the diseases that affect me and make both of us sad? Hepatitis, inflammation of the liver, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Cirrhosis is a consequence of chronic liver disease characterized by replacement of liver tissue by fibrosis and sear tissue leading to loss of liver function. The death of the liver cells can be caused by viral hepatitis, alcoholism or contact with other liver toxic chemicals. Hemochromatosis, a hereditary disease causing the accumulation of iron in the body, eventually leading to liver damage. Cancer of the liver. Wilson's disease, a hereditary disease which causes the body to retain copper. Now, let's talk about hepatitis. What is hepatitis? Hepatitis is a liver disease. Hepatitis means inflammation of the liver. Inflammation is the painful red swelling that results when tissues of the body become injured or infected. Inflammation can cause organs to not work properly. Hepatitis are of five types A, B, C, D, E which are caused by five types of virus. Today we shall learn more about Hepatitis C type. What is Hepatitis C? Hepatitis C is a liver disease. Hepatitis means inflammation of the liver. Inflammation is the painful red swelling that results when tissues of the body become injured or infected. Inflammation can cause organs to not work properly. What causes Hepatitis C? The Hepatitis C virus causes Hepatitis C. Viruses are germs that can cause sickness. For example, the flu is caused by a virus. People can pass viruses to each other. Who can get Hepatitis C? Anyone can get Hepatitis C. But some people are at higher risk including people who were born to a mother with Hepatitis C. Hemodialysis patients or persons who spent many years on dialysis for kidney failure. 
HIV infected person. People who had a blood transfusion or organ transplant. People with haemophilia who received blood products. People who have used illegal injection drugs. Using an infected person's razor or toothbrush. Being tattooed or pierced with unsterilized tools that were used on an infected person. What is chronic hepatitis C? Hepatitis C is chronic when the body can't get rid of the hepatitis C virus. Although some people clear the virus from their bodies in a few months, most hepatitis C infections become chronic. Without treatment, chronic hepatitis C can cause scarring of the liver called cirrhosis, liver cancer and liver failure. Symptoms of cirrhosis include yellowish eyes and skin called jaundice a longer than usual amount of time for bleeding to stop swollen stomach or ankles tiredness nausea weakness loss of appetite weight loss spider-like blood vessels called spider angiomas that develop on the skin how is hepatitis C diagnosed Hepatitis C is diagnosed through blood tests which can also show if you have chronic hepatitis C or another type of hepatitis. Your doctor may suggest getting a liver biopsy if chronic hepatitis C is suspected. A liver biopsy is a test for liver damage. The doctor uses a needle to remove a tiny piece of liver which is then looked at with a microscope. How is chronic hepatitis C treated? Hepatitis C is not treated unless it becomes chronic. Chronic Hepatitis C is treated with drugs that slow or stop the virus from damaging the liver. Drugs for the treatment of Chronic Hepatitis C Chronic Hepatitis C is most often treated with the drug combination Pegin-Turferon and Ribavirin, which attacks the Hepatitis C virus. Pegin-Turferon is taken through weekly shots and ribavirin is taken daily by mouth. Treatment lasts from 24 to 48 weeks. Liver Transplantation A liver transplant may be necessary if chronic hepatitis C causes liver failure. Liver transplantation surgery replaces a failed liver with a healthy one from a donor. Drug treatment often must continue because Hepatitis C usually comes back after surgery. How can you avoid getting Hepatitis C? You can protect yourself and others from Hepatitis C if you do not share drug needles. Wear gloves if you have to touch another person's blood. Use a condom during sex. Do not borrow another person's toothbrush, razor or anything else that could have blood on it. Make sure any tattoos or body piercing you get are done with sterile tools. Do not donate blood or blood products if you have Hepatitis C. What could you do in case you have been exposed to the Hepatitis C virus? See your doctor and get tested if you are at higher risk of getting Hepatitis C or if you think you are exposed to the Hepatitis C virus. Many people do not know they are infected. Early diagnosis and treatment can help prevent liver damage. Points to remember in Hepatitis C Hepatitis C is a liver disease caused by the Hepatitis C virus. Anyone can get Hepatitis C, but some people are at higher risk. You could get Hepatitis C through contact with an infected person's blood. Hepatitis C is chronic when the body can't get rid of the Hepatitis C virus. Liver damage can take 10 or more years to happen and is often the first sign of Hepatitis C. Get tested if you are at higher risk or think you may have been exposed to the Hepatitis C virus. Many people do not know they are infected. Chronic Hepatitis C is treated with drugs that slow or stop the virus from damaging the liver. Remember what I told you today to ensure that you and me are happy tomorrow.